السلام عليكم طلاب آي دكتورة هالة من اليوم راح نأخذ المحاضرة رقم تسعة لسلسلة محاضرة مادة الرواية الصف الرابع قسم اللغة الإنجليزية محاضرتنا هي تكملة الـ key points of a good understanding and by Flanner and Ochner and we today we are going to talk about the south and religion so the south and religion the impact of southern culture and religion Religion on the characters where Flannery Ochner uses the southern setting and its deeply ingrained religious culture to shape her characters and their world values. So let's see. The grandmother's southern identity, traditional southern values. The grandmother embodies traditional southern values, including a strong emphasis on manners, respectability, and nostalgia for the past. She dresses carefully for the trip to maintain her image as a lady. A role she believes is central to her identity and moral standing. Her adherence to these values, however, is often superficial and hypocritical, revealing the gap between appearance and the true morality. So she has, there is a, we cannot deny that there is a religious influence on her because the grandmother's understanding of religion is closely tied to her southern identity. She references God and morality frequently, but her actions often contradict the principles she claims to uphold. For example, she lies to, to her family and shows little genuine concern for others, indicating that her religious beliefs are more about social conformity than true faith. So she is contradicting herself and contradicting her beliefs without noticing that she is lying to herself and to her family. She is maintaining a picture or an image of uh, to others that she is a lady with good manners. So the misfits struggle with religion, rejection of, of conventional beliefs. The misfit represents a more complex and troubled relationship with religion. Raised in the South, he is familiar with the Christian technique, teaching so, but he struggles with the concept of sin and redemption. His statement, Jesus is thrown everything of balance reveals his deep existential confusion and resentment toward the idea of a just and loving God. He rejects the idea he of religion in a sense of the traditional um, southern people are reflecting it. That's why he shows his uh, resentment in a violent way. So he is, there is a pessimistic philosophy because unlike the grandmother, the misfit has thought deeply about religion, but has ultimately rejected it. He believes that if there is no clear justice or balance in life, then traditional concepts of good and evil are meaningless. This leads him to embrace an realistic worldview where he sees his life sees life as inherently purposeless and finds no pleasure but meaningless. So the only thing that means to him is to be mean to others, to treat them in a violent way and kill them. The influence of Southern Gothic. So the Southern Gothic tradition Faulkner uses of the Southern Gothic genre highlights the darker aspects of Southern culture, particularly its religious hypocrisy and moral decay. The, the story's setting with its decaying plantation and rural backdrop roads reflects a world where the past continues to on the present and where religious and social values are corrupted. So we talked with the introduction to modern novel about the returning to 
the Gothic representation in stories, and this is one of the stories who highlights the idea of Gothic genre. Characters as Gothic archetypes. Both the grandmother and the misfit can be seen as southern Gothic archetypes. The grandmother with her obsession with manners and appearances represents the decaying old self, while the misfit embodies the chaos and violence that lurk beneath the surface the surface of southern society. Their encounter is a collision of these forces, revealing the deep moral and spiritual crisis at the heart of the story. So this is the final moment when he kills the grandmother. So the legacy of the southern past Nostalgia and moral decay. The grandmother has frequent references to the past, such as her longing to visit an old plantation, reflects a romanticized view of the southern past that ignores its darker aspects, such as racism and violence. This selective memory is a form of moral decay, where the past is idealized and present real realities are ignored. There is also the impact on the present. The story suggests that the, sto the South in ability to confront its past honestly has led to a moral and spiritual crisis in the present. The characters' flawed beliefs uh, and actions are in part a product of this unre unresolved history. The grandmother's superficial morality and the misfit's nihilism can both be seen as responses to the unresolved tensions and contradictions of Southern culture. So, in summary, Southern culture and religion play col uh, crucial roles in shaping the characters and themes of a good man as art to find. Faulkner uses the Southern setting and its religious tradition to explore the complexities of morality, faith, and the human condition, revealing the deep contradictions and the crisis that define both the characters and the world they inhabit.